Remote Solar Power! In this short video, we're going to show you how to build one of these solar power systems. It'll produce 50 watts daily anywhere for any kind of landscape project. The system is shown here with a 5 watt solar panel and two strings of LED 110 volt Christmas lights. You can get these any time of the year at our website at GetGreenTV.com. The timer is set for these to go on at dusk and off at dawn. Pretty simple. The LED Christmas lights come in a variety of colors and shapes. And on this cute bridge you can see them in clear. We also offer landscape bulbs for your landscape lights that are LED. Okay, let's get busy. I gotta show you how to build this thing. What I'm trying to do is create power. In this case, it comes from a battery represented by that black and red clips. The power to charge the battery comes from the solar panel. We get 12 volt DC power out of the battery through a car type cigar socket and this weatherproof low voltage connector. This panel is self-regulating, so it hooks directly to the battery. This timer allows us to limit all power consumption to maximize our capabilities. This gives us our AC. Part of our system is this self-powered digital timer switch from Intermatic. You can get these just about anywhere, but we'd really like to see you buy them at our website at GetGreenTV.com. You set the timer with these little buttons and turn it off and on with the face plate. Once you've adjusted the time in the day according to the instructions, you can set it to do just about anything. And here's how we get AC. This is a 75 watt pocket power inverter. You'll see them at the auto store or get one online through us. A 400 watt unit like this one can also work. Just plug it into the cigar outlet and away you go. You've got 110 AC to do just about anything you want. This wall converter reduces AC power for use with like a fax machine or a phone. And of course AC works great to power these motion switches. They have timers and light sensors in them for all sorts of limited applications. We'll discuss these in another show, but let's get to wiring up our control box. First thing you do is strip all the wires for all your components and stick them through the holes in the box. Now arrange all your wires so that you can connect all the negative leads of all your equipment together in one big bundle. The positive of the battery to the positive of the solar panel and cap that off with a wire nut. Now that you got that out of the way, we're going to put on one big wire nut on all those negatives. That'll shut it up. Next thing we do is locate one of the wires of our timer and connect it to the positive side of the battery. Now connect the other side of the timer switch to the positive DC outs. Your controller is ready. Now all you have to do is put it in the box and then find a place for it in the battery box. This tends to get a little tight, but you can find room. Plug in the thing you want to operate and set the timer. Fit it all in there and cover it up. You don't want any of this stuff getting wet. Next step, carry the battery out and set the panel up where it's going to get plenty of sun all day long. The more sun, the more power you will create. Here we're hooking it up to our LED lights. Isn't that special? And here you see it in operation at Christmas time on our special Christmas ball. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to GetGreenTV.com.